Hello guys, welcome. You are watching Technology Welfare. Let's learn and dive with practical in this tutorial. How to get the latest iOS without data loss on any iPhone device. Right now, for instance, actually I have taken one Apple device here and I would like to go for latest iOS on this device. So firstly we will check it out manually. Is it possible or not? If it is not, then I will show you some tricks and by using that of course you can quickly have a latest iOS on your iPhone device. So firstly we will tap on a setting guys. So tap on a setting. So here it is. In setting you need to click on a general. So tap on a software update. So this one it is here. So click on there. Now it has started to check it out. Latest iOS. So this is a one way easy. Yes, here it's a saying that you can download directly 16.2 iOS on this. If you want that. In spite of that, can I have directly 16.3 iOS? Because this is not a latest one, so in that condition, guys, if I skip it manually, we are not in a position to especially escape this iOS and directly we can jump on iOS 16.3. So, in that condition, how could I? So, of course, for it, don't worry, it's a free, of course, open a 3 tool, guys, here yeah. and connect to your data cable. So, directly from your iPhone device to PC or laptops, you need to connect. And of course, in this processor, will not be a data loss. So now, finally, I have connected and 3U tool has notified that your device has been connected. Simply guys, we will refresh, let's see, we are here, uh, now see here, what we will do, firstly we will click on the refresh options, then we will click on a, a smart flash, in a smart flash, as we see here, 16.2, and this is right now, 16.2, now, we will select the 16.3, so this is a, yes, one point, we can jump out because as we know that actually after updations especially or updating especially I mean with 16.2 once again definitely we will have to come on a 16 point especially 3 beta versions so, or uh, iOS so in that condition why not we must jump directly and we will skip this one bypass this one 16.2 so right now simply we will select it and we will start to download guys so now see here it has started to download here task and now see it's in a queue and of course it will quickly start to download after downloading guys what we have to do we have to go with the retained user data and we will select this one so all the data and apps and application will be remain there and only one iOS will be updated so right now see it has started to now see yes it's uh, still in a queue but don't worry it will uh, start to download within a few second and uh, right now see actually if you do with the help of iTunes this cannot be a possible directly you can not actually update of uh, 16.3 and manually with the help of especially this uh, iPhones of course also we cannot so here if I go for installation by virtue of this manually, then of course only we will reach on a special 16.2. So now we are on. Simply after downloading, we will go for flash it after selection from this one. So within a five to ten minutes, actually it will. After uh, complete installation, uh, reboot, and then you would be here 16.3. So this is all about in this video tutorial, guys. It will take time to download. So the definitely video will be a lengthy. So I don't want actually 
learn the video so this is all about in this tutorial thank you thank you very much indeed have a great time guys and one uh, one thing actually i would like to request if it is informative and acknowledgeable then don't forget like and subscribe on this channel because this is the thing that will really inspire me to make more and more videos such as informative video and who are encouraged to have this chance information guys so thank you thank you very much for that have a great time